Welcome back. This is Robin Mines. Uh, we've been having an amazing time so far, so good on the show today. Um, we want to talk about something very important now um, for this final segment. It is the Freedom of Information Bill. We can all agree with me that without information, any society cannot function maximally. It is information that makes us as a society to function to our maximum capacity. And there are certain concerns about the flow of information in Nigeria. Uh, with me to discuss that is a lecturer, Faculty of Law, University of Lagos, Dr. Ifoma. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, so let's get straight into it. What are your thoughts on FOI as a tool for accountability? Um, freedom of information or right to information is a fundamental human right. It's a right that every public in any society is entitled to, to assess government information and public institutions. It is a right that is protected under international laws, like the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and then the International Convention on Civic and P Political Rights. And then we also have it in the African Charter on Peoples and Political Rights. So it is a fundamental right that everyone should be entitled to. It is important for people in any country, in any society, to be able to assess government information. Mm. It will then, you know, they will be informed about everything that is concerning them. They will participate in the governance. And then, of course, we should know that uh, freedom of information is the bedrock of the democracy. Mm. It will enable people to be able to assess what the government is doing, have information about what is happening to them and what decisions have been taken concerning their lives. And then they will be able to uh, contribute to governance. Yeah. And then that will also check corruption in the society. Mm. The Freedom of Information Bill was the longest legislative bill we ever had, ever known. And then it was passed after 12 years. Um, People were excited. There, were, there was widespread agitation for the bill to be passed into an act. And then eventually we got it. Yeah. But then what do we have? People, don't even, people are not even aware. And people don't even, looking at the case laws, we haven't heard people actually going out to seek for government information. I mean, go to these public institutions and then require for information and they don't get it. Mm. So it is very important that the Freedom of Information Bill, like what we have now, yeah. that the people should be sensitized. The record has shown that less than 35% of people are not even aware that they can assess government information, that they have the right to actually go out there. Like all these murmurings about how much our senators are earning and all of that. Yeah. You have the right to actually go out there, and we have a case to that effect, mm -hmm. to go out there and ask for that information. And if it is not given, then we go to court. So there is need for sensitization. There is need for people to be aware that this information, they can actually have it, and yeah. it is at their fingertips. Okay, so talking, just taking a cue from what you just said um, about less than 35% of the populace uh, having information about the government. You'd know that FOI is strongly interconnected with the press, uh, which leads me to the issue of press freedom. Do you think, as a nation, we're doing well with the freedom of press? I don't think so. Um, sometimes there are some channels I don't even bother to watch because you're sure that you're not actually getting the real news of what is actually happening in the society. We have freedom of information. The press, the newspapers, the magazines, the journals, they all have, they have freedom. They, they, their freedom is guaranteed to be able to tell and inform the society what is going on. We have the right to assess government information. We have the right to go to parastatals, to go to public institutions, and then know what decisions are being taken on our behalf. But unfortunately, um, the freedom of the press is not actually, they have the, they have the freedom, but um, it is not being properly utilized. That yeah. is my opinion. Uh, okay, it's not being properly utilized. I think we need to sort of expand on that uh, because we've had cases where um, we've seen 
huge hindrance from the part of the government because every platform, every media platform wants to sensitize the public as much as possible. Sometimes um, we are met with you know, certain challenges coming from the government's end. So what would you say at, at, such, at such cases where our freedom is being you know, uh, trampled on, what happens? Yeah, that, that is the point I was coming to. That it is one thing to have, um, to have a right. It's another thing to be able to exercise that right. I know that um, the press has been suppressed you know, a couple of times, you know, people who try to inform the people, who try to let the society know what is going on, um, have come up with some, you know, blockages and some of them have been picked up and arrested and things like that. So on that note, we, we don't have to stop. We have to keep sensitizing the people. The more we talk, the more we agitate. Like before the Freedom of Information Bill was passed, a lot of people were talking, there was so much not just the civil societies, people on their own, on the streets, lawyers, everybody, you know, lay people, everybody wanted, because they felt that once we have the Freedom of Information Act, that, oh, wow, then everything is a done deal. Then we'll be able to assess government information. We'll be able to know what is happening to us. We'll be able to be informed on what decisions are being taken on our behalf and things like that. But unfortunately, it's not happening. So it's a problem. But we don't have to stop. We have to keep talking. We have to keep sensitizing the people. And the more we talk, I believe there will be a change. Okay, so now I would want to move on to information on social media. Uh, for the past 10 years, we've seen uh, people having to use alternative source of information. That's alternative. By alternative, I mean, aside from the traditional press that we're used to. So you see people having conversations on Twitter and you know, Facebook and different platforms. But the challenge to that is sometimes wrong information and fake news is out there. So how do you think we can strike a balance uh, between these alternative news sources and you know, making sure that we have the right information? Um, I think... The only way we can do that is for the government to not be repressive. Once um, the journalists, the, um, the media, the media houses, they know that they have the power to properly inform the people, then we don't even, most of the informations on the social media, most of them are wrong. So sometimes when I get them on my WhatsApp, I Google to be sure that. I don't, I don't um, forward informations. I don't. Until I am sure. I don't even do that. Mm. Because most of the informations, 80, 70% of most informations on social media, most of them are fake. And why do we have that? If we had a proper media house, we, where people feel they are informed, where we look up to, you know, you can put on your television or your radio, and then you get the right information of what is happening in the society, mm -hmm. then we don't even have to look onto those alternative medias. And then, of course, you know, the problem the social media is causing now is a big one, mm -hmm. because most of the information out there are okay. not correct. So I am hoping that um, the Freedom of Information Bill, well, oh, sorry, it's, a, it's an act now, the Freedom yeah. of Information Law, the act, mm -hmm should be properly utilized. People, the, 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 right. the, you know, the publication should, people should be allowed thank you. to give us proper information and all of that. All right, thank you so very much, Dr. Ifoma. Thank, uh, you. thank you for coming on the show. And that has been our show today. Thank you so very much for sticking with us. Uh, I totally enjoyed myself and I'm sure that you were informed. And just like Dr. Ifoma said, we need um, platforms like this, the platform you're currently watching me on, uh, to constantly give you the right information, and that is exactly what we're doing. Thank you so very much. My name is Hero Daniels, and catch you some other time.